So for our next project, uh, I was given a 1978 Glastron bass boat. It hasn't been on the water in over 20 years, but uh, we did test fire the motor to make sure it worked, because without the motor, the boat has no value. So it's an MPV 175 with 175 horsepower Evan Root engine. And as you can see, the gel coat is really weathered on the top. So uh, I've experimented on the other side and we'll do it right here now. I'm gonna start with 180 grit dual action sander to remove any of the roughness and then I'll work my way down to uh, 4,000 grit sandpaper. And then with buffing wheel and compound, buff this back up into an almost mirror shine. And that's gonna happen throughout the entire boat over the next few months. Well, it's late March, uh, beginning of spring here in Idaho, and now the weather's good enough to start working on a project again, which is the 1978 Glastron HPV 175. And so today we've just decided to just strip the rest of the, the boat down. take out uh, some janky carpet that someone installed years ago that isn't correct. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> and I was able uh, over the winter to buy the correct carpet that goes with this boat. So we'll do all that and then uh, probably re-glass some of the wood, give it some more strength. And there are some cracks around some of the live wells and we'll go ahead and reinforce those coming up. But today it was removing the, uh, the gauges that aren't working and uh, we'll order, be ordering some new gauges for the dash. Some of the fiberglass around some of the uh, battery compartments is cracked. Obviously, you know, people stand on that during the fishing, so we'll go ahead and reinforce that area and re-glass from underneath. So it looks like some people have done some of their own uh, wiring underneath the dash as well as after I was taking out the gauge. And of course, that's kind of my specialty. I, I'll go in there and clean all that up and make sure everything works properly. The bilge pump, there's a bilge pump, and of course, pumps for the live wells and uh, the lights. So we'll get all that taken care of here real soon. And, Get this thing back on the road, hopefully by Memorial Day. So what, what do you think of the boat? It looks terrible right now. There's no way he's going to get it done. Today, we decided to go ahead and glass uh, some of the wood, exposed wood underneath the flooring. And we did that. I, I was able to buy some uh, woven roving fiberglass cloth and a gallon of fiberglass resin and we were able to put it down on the floor to give it some more strength and to protect it from weather. And uh, we'll continue to do some more of that over the, the next week. And then we'll get more to sanding the, the gel coat on the top.
today one of the other uh, little uh, windshield pods on the boat, we decided to sand it. See how it's going to actually turn out with a clear coated. turned out wonderful. So it's kind of a representation of what the boat should look like when we're all finished. Uh, the weather now is turning very nice outside so the, we'll be ramping up the sanding and everything on the rest of the gel coat on the top and clear coating it soon. And uh, the, the, the pot is a good representation of what it'll look like. We have about 90% of the boat sanded now, rough sand. Uh, I went ahead and went down to 120 grit just to break it up a little quicker. And uh, so starting this week, later in the week, uh, when it's completely sanded, we're going to go ahead and start wet sanding it uh, and then start uh, staging the clear coat. It would be nice to clear coat the entire boat at the one time, but it's not going to be feasible uh, since we got to walk around and everything. So we'll probably start with the inside and then work our way out. And uh, after that, then we'll start doing the carpet and uh, the upholstery and then start uh, buffing the hull. But uh, we're still another month. I wished it was quicker, but the weather here in Idaho this May, this April, May has been very wet and cold. So it's hampered us by at least a month. So I finished the DA sanding uh, with the 120 and uh, now are proceeding to uh, wet sand the boat with the 320 grit. This will give us a good base for the clear coat. And now I can, uh, you know, hand sand all the little tight crevices that need to be sanded uh, prior to clear coat. So I'm getting really excited. It's going to be a beautiful boat once we get it clear coated. Hey, what's your solution in there? What's that? What's in that spray bottle? Uh, H2O. Oh, the chemical, huh? Yeah. H2O? Where do you buy that at? Huh? Where do you buy H2O? You sell it in a bottle or in a can? Yeah, I get it from the garden hose. How do you think the boat looks right now? Um, it looks a little rusty and and old and decrepit. Any, any progress? Uh, not really. <laughs> so finally, I, here in Idaho, a day without rain. It's allowed us to uh, start spreading the gel coat. Decided to go with the uh, uh, gel coat clear versus the automotive clear. And the uh, reason being just the durability. We can walk on it and not scuff it. And hopefully uh, the, it, the bonding seems to be a little bit better. Uh, I did the inside today. Uh, I'll peel this off and, and prepare. Maybe uh, in the next couple of days we'll do the outside of the top of the boat. It really brings the luster back. I also am spreading a little bit on the second coat, uh, putting in a little metal flake just to kind of blend it a little better. And it's turning out really nice. So uh, day two of uh, clear coating the, uh, with the gel coat. And after my first experience, uh, I sprayed for five hours and most of the time was cleaning the gun in between rounds and that just wasn't working. Uh, it would take me a month of Sundays to do that. So I decided to use a roller and I think the, I'd rather lightly sand between coats 
or uh, at the finish and then buff then clean a gun five different times and, and um, it was going to be more like 15 or 20 to do the boat so we're going to opt for the roller it works a lot it's a lot cleaner less spray and uh, I think the results will be just as nice in the end. So now that the top hull is all done and polished, now comes the uh, small things like the carpet. So there's two areas that uh, I can glue down today, which was the front, the bow, and then the back half where uh, the pedestals go for fishing. Uh, the hatches need to be covered as well, but I found out after Tate removing the old carpet that I'll have to remake some of the hatches, and I've ordered some good marine paint to uh, coat the new plywood with. Uh, to protect it and to keep uh, keep it from rotting. So that'll happen over the period of the next week. Yeah, so in the bow, there's a section there uh, where you usually store your anchor. In the case of this boat, it's where they store the pedal for the um, uh, trolling motor. Cut that hatch out and glue the rest of the carpet around the area, but I'm gonna do that after the rest of it is dried so it doesn't move on me. And uh, this weekend, when we do a majority of the, the new carpet, that's when we'll get that done. Today, another nice hot sunny day, and we're um, putting the carpet on the decking and the deck plates for the uh, live wells and the motor uh, entrance covers. And uh, the only other one we need to do is just do the main floor, and then we can start assembling the boat back again. So the final pieces of carpet have now been uh, fastened down to the boat. Uh, the wheels for the trailer came in this week. They add a nice touch to the trailer, although the trailer still needs to get painted. And uh, installed the gauges, wired up the gauges. Haven't tested them yet because I've got to test fire the motor for the tachometer and the amp meter. Uh, and then I uh, just went to something more pleasurable today. He was buffing out the hull, trying to give it some more uh, life. It looks like it's going to look really nice out in the sun. We did start doing some of the upholstery, um, one pad and one backrest, just to see how it came out, and it came out really nice.
So as we're finishing up the boat, the one thing that has been an eyesore is this rusted trailer. Got some rust-oleum um, and sprayed the trailer. And then now the paint that I've used is very close to the original uh, Easy Loader paint that the trailer was done with. Started working on the front. Uh, it's been very hot, so very limited time here working on that. But we get that taken care of, and hopefully by the end of this week, the trailer will be painted and reassembled with the new steps and the carpet. Uh, over the weekend, we installed the railings and the, uh, the tie-down hooks, the dock hooks. Yeah, I wish it had taken a little time in cleaning up the trolling motor, but it's uh, I'll wash it down and it'll look good. Um, forgot how it came off, so I had, took a few moments to reinstall it. But uh, it works really, really well. And uh, we're getting really close to uh, the end of the fishing season, so I can't wait to get started. This is the maiden voyage of the boat. Uh, I've got about almost 100% complete now, um, and we're enjoying the heck out of, out of a nice. We're enjoying the heck out of it on a nice 75 degree day here in uh, Lake Lowell. So everything seems to be working really well. Um, tried out the fresh bait well tanks; they seem to be operating good. Bilge pump works good. The uh, front uh, trolling motor works well. It seems to be a little dis. Uh, problem with the connection I have to hold it in place so we'll clean that up but other than that uh, enjoying it all the new gauges are working well so uh, yeah we're just having fun How do you think the boat turned out? I think it's wonderful. I love this boat. Woo! You're not even in the water yet. It doesn't matter.